So you got the online the mail and you've opened it up and you've taken a look at it. And it's a strange little creature. Very interesting looking. But everything has a point and a purpose here. Okay? These are the little fingers. These are the thumbs. This is the handle. Each one, each little area, works specifically on your face. If the fingers don't work in your jawline, between the fingers and the thumb will. If using the fingers on the face is too sensitive, we'll use the handle. So let's go through just a basic, um, kind of like routine to do with your anma, and we'll discuss some of the whys while we're doing it. First, a little history. For the past 10 years, I have taught um, a fascial facelift, manipulating the fascia on the face and restoring face shape and skin integrity to the skin. A lot of times when I would be working on skin, I noticed that perhaps the mandible or the jaw was incredibly tight due to TMJ or perhaps um, an over occlusion of a bite. When this happens, instead of the masseter being the pillar of strength of the face, the temporal region takes over and it changes the face shape. So the whole point of the fascial contouring massage was to realign the integrity and the structure of the face and proportion of the face. And this couldn't be something that I could just do in the treatment room in an hour. So I created this tool to utilize to help my patients and clients use it at home and then when they came to see me, it made my job a lot more effective. So one of the things that I would have them do is always start at the neck and the chest. The reason is, is our neck and decollete are the foundation of our face. If we have a lot of restricted fascia in our neck and our decollete area, that's always gonna pull the face down. The neck itself is an interesting muscle. It, when we cover, have, lift heavy things or we're under a lot of stress, the neck lifts up. It's like a lever and it pulls the face down. And this habitually can hold a position and create a facial change as a woman in her 30s, 40s, and 50s. So we really want to start to release the fascia in the neck area. Another note is when you have a lot of restrictive fascia in the neck and the traps, many times you'll see jowls. And this is because lymph gets trapped. So the best place to start is right under the collarbone, just opening up that area. By opening that up, we free a lot of the lymphatic nodes in that area and it's got a room to flush. So you're gonna work on your decollete and you work on your neck. People ask me time and time again, how heavy should I do it? How strong should I be doing this? Not as light as a feather, but not as heavy as a weight. So I really want it to be about the weight or the pressure of your hand or perhaps a nickel. So you're just gently going up and down on the skin. While you can do this on dry skin, it's really best if you have some type of conduit, whether you have a moisturizer you like to use. Personally, I do it in the shower in the morning. So you want just like something that gently glides the fingers along the neck area. After you've done this for a while, you're gonna move up to the jaw area. Now I've got little bones, a little jaw, so I can place my jaw bone between the two fingers of the anma. But for somebody that might have a little bit more fluid, you might wanna rest your jaw right at the finger and the thumb, just moving back and forth. And again, you can see I'm not digging into my skin and I'm really not creating any type of damage to the surface skin. I'm just moving back and forth. Personally, I have bite issues and perhaps this tool was created more out of a necessity for me than for everyone on the market. So I have 
develop a very pronounced cheekbone. And while releasing this tool, one of the questions was asked, if I do it on the cheek, will my cheeks flatten? No. If you do it very, very lightly, and you're just absolutely going in to gently release the restrictions, you will not lose fat along the cheek. However, if it's something that you focus on every single day, just doing the cheek area, yes, visual changes will occur and you may lose some volume. One area that you really want to pay attention to is the temporal area. You're just moving up along the face. For many, this can be excruciating, and it's because so much of our attention is held in this area of the scalp. So a rule of thumb would be try to do it until the tension lightens up. Don't avoid the area because it's painful. Typically, if it's, if it's a little bit sore to the touch, it needs to be massaged. After you go into that temporal and up to the scalp, Go ahead and go to the frontalis. Now something that's probably only known to people that study the face and study facial muscles is this muscle, your forehead muscle, actually goes all the way back, right to this ridge. And so if you have really heavy lines, chances are you have very tight traps and your neck protrudes forward. You really need to work the whole scalp with the anma. This will start to release those frontalis muscles and then actually come to the forehead, just very, very gently. And finally, the eye area. I like to take the two back fingers and sandwich my brow bone and almost just go back and forth. This hits the whole eye rim it also hits that wrinkle that sometimes occurs right above the forehead. Remember, wrinkles are spasms. And if we can release the spasm, then the skin will take back its normal density and, and texture. So just simply, kind of like a windshield wiper, very, very gently go around that top part of the bicularis oris or oculi. Underneath the eye is very delicate. So I don't recommend doing a lot in this area, um, particularly if the skin is very tissuey or there is a transparency in the skin. By all means, avoid the under eye area. There will be videos released from time to time and we'll be hitting um, and addressing certain questions that you may have. If there's a particular question that I haven't addressed in this introductory video, please shoot me an email so I can address it or make a video on that situation. Until then, enjoy your anma and have fun.